Hey guys, Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. Oh man, these some of these stickers are falling off. That's weird. Anyways guys, welcome to my basement update video. Maybe more so of a filler video. I really, like just being honest, I really need to, I, I just need to have this video because I need to have a breather in terms of, I need to really, I guess in a sense, take inventory and also clean up as I have a lot of stuff. And every day or every time I come here, I'm just like, why do I have all of this stuff? And it feels like either I need to have like a dedicated space or a dedicated area for my extra hardware that I have laying around. And don't get me wrong, I've been trying to clean up this area already. It's, it's not the way that I want, but I generally have extra stuff like risers, power cords, like C13, the C14 cables everywhere. I got a bunch of extra SSDs in a little box like this, like, you know, things like that, that where I, I feel like it's, it's a lot. And I have all this extra stuff that you, you guys know I've been doing giveaways all the time. And another thing is that I've been getting a lot of emails from people that are wanting my extra hardware. And don't get me wrong, I, I would love to give you guys this extra hardware. I know I had an email recently from another YouTuber actually. Uh, his name is Custom Computing. I'll have him on the screen here. But man, please go subscribe to that guy. He's got some cool videos and he's got like a server case build and a, like, a, like a server rack. And he's, he's wanting to buy these Rosewell server cases. So I'm going to work with him. It sucks because I don't have the original boxes for these like Rosewell cases so I'm not sure. I do have some boxes for like my Mystic Miners uh, and that might be too big but I may have to retrofit that. But just to just openly being honest with you all, I've been just, I don't know how to say it. My head has been filled with just having this stuff and I know it sounds like I'm complaining like Red Panda, you, you know, this is a dream. And honestly, it sometimes is but it sometimes isn't because there are projects that I want to do and I, I just feel like I, I really need to get myself together or just simply I need to maybe start hiring people or get someone to do inventory for me or just get someone to really clean up. I, I haven't even been to my barn. I, we're going to go there later in this video. We're going to go to the barn. I'm going to show you guys. I got a lot of stuff over there as well, but it just shows that as a crypto mining YouTuber, I got stuff everywhere and I got projects on the go. I got graphics cards everywhere, which again, you guys know that I've given away like a million of these RX 580s and I still have a bunch of RX 580s that I'm going to do giveaways throughout the year, but I, I, I had a lot more before. I think I've given about 15 away in the past like three months or something. Uh, during the Christmas time, that was that was just crazy. That was just crazy. But I got like other graphics cards here. These are the RX 580 uh, 8GB cards that I want to do a build for fun. Like doing like Ethereum and Ton and seeing what the power difference is. And yeah, I got a lot of ideas in my head, a lot of different projects. But I just wanted to do this video. It's basically a filler video, but this is just me just opening up with you guys. Just talking about uh, what's been, I guess, transpiring for me in terms of what I got going on everywhere in terms of my basement here and uh, like I said we'll go to the barn in a sec. I have this helium miner. Okay this is a Rack V2. Now there has been some update I believe where I need I think I need to change the SD card on here like it's it's like a 16 gig or I need to update this to a 32 or a 64 gig or something and so I haven't read up much on it but if you guys can comment down below if I really need to do that or not please please let me know down below it's just been sitting here and I know it's it's bad I should really plug it in guys just understand I've been doing so many different types of videos and projects my head can't get around to filling in all the knowledge that I can in my head of different types of mining hardware. Like you guys know, I, I've been playing around with everything from like ASICs, you know, to these guys. I haven't done many videos on Helium. Okay, I, I'm not gonna lie there. I haven't done many videos on Helium. But recently, uh, you guys saw videos on me doing the uh, Reptech boards, which were really fun. And uh, congrats to the winner on that. And as well as 
uh, I just changed a bunch of thermal pads on my 3070 Ti's. That was a lot of fun. GP risers, thanks again for the thermal pads. Uh, I actually ran out of the three millimeter pads. I do have to change a bunch of thermal pads on my non-LHR 3080s. So I do have an MSI Trio. This one's horrible. This one's like, I can only get, I, it's supposed to get 100 mega hash, but I'm getting like 78 or something. And then I got another two 3080 non-LHRs on my hanging rig here that you guys know I set up with the RevTech. I got one here, a Gigabyte Gaming OC, which I thought was okay when I did the backplate, but honestly, I need to do the front side because I'm still getting, now I'm getting like 78 mega hash on this card. So I think the backplate may have degraded. The Thermal Grizzly pads, I'm not quite sure. I'm gonna have another video uh, once I get more Thermal pads in from GPU risers. And I got another one over here, uh, MSI Gaming Ventus, that I need to change the Thermal pads to. Thermal throttling, like crazy. All of my other non-LHR cards, 3070s, are completely fine. But yeah, you guys know I did that on my 3070 Ti, uh, the Zotac Hollow Amp cards, which are just, just horrible. Just horrible when the stock pads. Just to give you guys an overview now of my basement, it's, it's been looking great. I, I love the way that I have it set up now. For some of you guys, just giving an update here that I have my stacking frames here. You guys know that I stack them with Jay Travaglini's, you know, 3D printed stacking tubes, which are awesome. Jay Travaglini, thanks again, man. And so I got those on this side and that PDU is maxed out 24 amps, 80% rule at, at 30 amp there. So, and then I got my Octominers on this side and I am maxed out on power on just all these rigs here, including the 3060 Ti that I built back in May. Uh, that you guys know I'm keeping track of the profits of how much Ethereum that this thing is mining, uh, dedicated to mining all the way up until we hit the break even or ROI, whatever term you guys want to use. I will keep you updated, I guess, next year or maybe this year if Ethereum decides to go up in price, who knows. My Octominer cases are on this side and they are awesome. It's going out this exhaust fan and the temperatures have been okay. It's, it's a, a little bit of a sunny day, so temperatures have gone up ambiently. But yeah, generally my temperatures are about 94 Fahrenheit over here and a lot of airflow going through. And you guys may notice my Mystic Miner cases. I love these cases, but you all know that I have been transitioning to my Octa Miners and I am kind of hard pressed in terms of the power that I can run in the basement here. I am pretty much maxed out 90 amps, right? I do have another 30 amp plug here, but I don't even wanna utilize this full time. I do have the hanging RevTech GPU rig right there. And it looks like it's, uh, looks like it's gone down in power consumption. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to check that out later. But anyways, things are looking much better, cleaner in here generally, but I have a lot of stuff that I wanna get rid of. Not necessarily get rid of, I'm probably gonna keep these uh, Mystic Miners. I'm just gonna bring them to the barn and guys, let's go to the barn now. You guys are gonna see a lot more stuff there and a lot more fun, I guess. But yeah, I, I just have a lot of stuff that I really need to, I really need to tear down. And oh, you guys know my, my 12 by GPU mining frames that I'm pretty much, yeah, I'm not gonna, I have a bunch of these. And you guys know I just gave one away recently. And actually, if you're watching this video, if you're watching this video, let's let's give another one away. Let's let's give another one away. I'm giving a giveaway, uh, a brand new one, guys. Brand new inbox. You guys can see I have like four more brand new ones here. Lucky winner, guys. Just comment down below if you're in USA, Canada, or EU, and I will ship this out. And uh, just give me a positive comment about whatever, anything that, that regards to anything in this video that I am talking about, whatever you guys can comment on, and I will choose a winner with comment picker about a day after this video. Uh, so people can watch this video. So good luck, good luck guys. Uh, you guys know I've been giving away stuff because I, I just have too much and it's 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 getting overwhelming. I don't, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to say guys. Single dude making YouTube videos, uh, just a guy running this YouTube channel by myself and you guys know I film and I edit my own videos and I have a lot of companies, I have a lot of people contacting me so it's, it's very busy and so for me to make this video just expressing to you all just it's, it's kind of a struggle of having all of this stuff all over the place and 
my mind is just all over the place and I, I don't know how else to say it. It's just, I, I'm very lucky. I, I'm not saying that this is like a terrible thing. It's just, it's a lot. Like it's a lot to go through and I have a lot of people who talk to me all the time. I get a lot of messages all the time and I love the community and it's nothing against anyone who messages me but just understand if I don't, if I don't reply to you, it's because Mentally, for me, I am overloaded, all right? I, I don't know how else to say it. I, I don't have enough time in the day to do everything that I want. And I do my best to reply to those that need my help. And especially if it's like other content creators or something, that I do my best to reply to them. I just love my sticker wall. You guys see my lovely sticker wall with all the other content creators on here? It's literally just... Awesome, hobbyist miner, got Red Llama on the corner over here, DCA Adventure, Serpent, we got Anonymous Miner, Misfit Mining, Chump Change, Pocket Change, Alter Components, Space Goats, Octa Miner, Doge Lord for all of these stickers, and yeah, we got GPU Risers, Chump Change, another, his older sticker, we got Blue Gnome, Tex Shinji, Midnight Miner, Tech Hustlers here, and uh, another chump change sticker here. I just, I, I love chump change. I, I have his stickers everywhere because that guy really grinds my gears. Max Voltage, Serpent's new sticker. I love it, I love it. Anyways guys, enough of me rambling in here. Let's go to the barn and uh, I'll just show you what I got going on over there. Every time I come in the barn, I just, I, I have a big sigh because every time I look at my extra stuff, my extra mining frames and every, all my old stuff that I've had since the beginning of my mining journey, it's just like, wow, I, I really need to either get rid of that or give it away or just one thing. All right guys, talking about the barn. So here's the barn. You guys know Octominer cases, I got a lot of these and I need to transition to them and I do need to get a big red shelf, which I'll eventually get to once I get these out of the way and transition more of my rigs, and then I'm gonna vertical, put them vertically, all the Octominer rigs, and I'll have them all in a big red shelf right there, all right? So just a little small update about that. But going along, talking about more of the extra stuff that I have is because I've been moving to, I guess, Octominers, and that this is stuff that I've generally been accumulating over the past I don't know, two years now. And it comes with the territory, I guess, of being a YouTuber. And uh, you all know that I've been doing this now for a while and I've been working really hard in attaining the stuff that I've been making videos on. And obviously with a channel that I've grown to this size now, not, I'm not trying to boast, okay? I'm not trying to boast here because yes, I am very lucky. Again, I'm very lucky to have I've been, you know, very lucky to be playing with all of this stuff and all the stuff that the companies have sent me, like AAA Wave, we got mine, Mineshop.eu, I mean, all the power supplies I bought, but, you know, other stuff, risers, I got so many extra risers, and uh, yeah, these Octominers I bought, right, I bought all of these, okay, just to let you guys know, I bought 20 of these X8 Ultras. Now that they have the X8 Ultra Plus, I'm kind of mad, because I wish I had the X8 Ultra Plus versions. But yeah, literally, like a month after I bought these X8 Ultras, they have the X8 Ultra Plus. So I'm kind of mad about that. Anyways, this extra mining frames, I, again, it comes down to, I've, I'm just overwhelmed of, I don't have the time that, of day to really take down all of these frames, extra mining frames that I have here, especially these like Veta frames, which are horrible, by the way, 
to really take down and unscrew. And a lot of you guys have been asking, like Red Panda, can you give these to me or give them away? And I would, guys, trust me, <laughs> I would love, I would love to give these away. I just, I don't have the mental capacity to take the frame out and just start unscrewing them, okay? it It's not easy and I, like I said, this video, I need to make a filler video so that I could have an extra like week or so of videos so that I can really, really buckle down and just do inventory. And yeah, I have a lot of extra server cases. These Rosewell like L4000C and I think I have a few like L4000Bs. I have a brand new one in box right there. And I, yeah, uh, custom computing. I know we're in talks, man. Uh, right now, I know that shipping is incredibly expensive. I actually just shipped one of these uh, server cases to someone in the States and it was like 150 bucks or something. So it, it was not cheap, it's not cheap. So I don't know, depends where you live, man. Uh, let me know, let me know down below. Or yeah, just email me. I think, yeah, we're in talks anyway. So uh, making this video as I saw your email. So anyways, uh, yeah, guys, I just have so many different stuff. I have so many different mining frames. Uh, this 19 GP1, this is close to my heart because Mr. Igor Schmidt sent this to me pre-built in a huge box. I can't even imagine how much that cost, but yeah, <laughs> Igor Schmidt, I'm still think, I still think about you from time to time, man. Thank you for this mining frame, 19 GPU mining frame. And uh, yeah, I haven't seen you comment in a while, so I uh, hope you're okay. But anyways, guys, yeah, just, just expressing my, I guess, it, it's not really an issue. I have the space to put all of this extra stuff but the issue is for me is that I hate seeing it sitting here and not being used, right? And so you guys know I do giveaways all the time and I'm doing my best to give away the extra stuff that I have. But again, I do have some stuff here that I'm probably gonna keep because uh, for some of you that may not know, I am having a new location uh, in the next maybe five, six, maybe one year. Those videos of me doing that, that will be later on. But yeah, I, I'm gonna be keeping like extra power supplies. The motherboards, I'm probably gonna keep. Risers, I mean, I can, I get these all the time. So I don't really give away risers that much, but extra stuff in terms of like the server cases, uh, maybe, you know, HP server power supplies. I have a lot of these. I, I gave away a few the past couple months. But mining frames, that's that's the killer. That's the issue here. Mining frames, server cases, these are not easy to ship. And especially the Veta ones, they're not easy to take apart. So anyways, guys, yeah, that's it. I, I know it sounds like I'm complaining or boasting. I, and trust me, I... I'm not trying to boast at all here. I'm just giving you guys my mental like issues here because I'm a full-on, full-time YouTuber doing this all by myself. It just, it hasn't been easy to really, really buckle down and give these away. Just to compare like maybe other channels out there, not just crypto mining channels, but other tech tubers or whatever, they don't do many giveaways daily as I do. Like I do giveaways probably once or three times a week right? Like constantly. And I wish I had like a warehouse. I could house all of this extra stuff. Like I can have all of my stuff, extra mining hardware in one place. So in case I need to go back to it and do more testing or something, or, you know, eventually maybe when I hire people, but you know, I don't want to, I don't want to go corporate because then I'll, I'll lose that more relatableness, I guess, in a sense, more personal, like YouTube channel. That That's what I want to stay as. That's why I'm kind of like, I like doing everything myself because then I know I have control over everything. And I, it's not like I have trust issues of trusting other people or hiring someone. It's just, I like to do it myself. I, I don't know how else to explain that. But yeah, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Maybe not. I mean, if you, you want to understand where I'm coming from, then uh, you'll have to make a YouTube channel, make YouTube videos every day, do this for the next couple years and really this is this has to be your passion, right? YouTube has to be your passion. This is something that people will recognize as something that obviously people are going to learn from, depending on what type of videos you make, and if people can relate to 
you know, certain things, especially in mining, like building mining rigs or testing out GPUs, finding out the hash rates. You know, I do all of that and I love it. You, you guys know, I do all of those types of videos and I will never quit because this is something that I really, truly enjoy. But when it comes to all of my extra stuff here, it just comes down to, I am just simply overwhelmed. I don't have enough time to really buckle down and take apart all these extra stuff that I have here. All right, guys, anyways, I that was a big rant. I don't think anyone should really listen to that. Anyways, a final update to my barn. I have a few rigs that I do need to transition to, my Octominer cases, but yeah, I also need to upgrade the internet. You guys know I have these Ubiquiti point-to-point -point system uh, AP bridges that I really need to get going because I am wasting money on the data plan, the ZTE hotspot here that is a waste of money and so I really need to do this so I can connect to my barn to the basement and uh, yeah it's it's gonna be a while again it goes to <laughs> I, I'm waiting for I guess the weather to be a lot warmer as it's really cold kind of decently cold still and so once the weather's better I will install these get the internet going get the networking going I need to get my shelf I got a lot of stuff to do guys I know you guys will give me a break I know you guys will give me the time and I know a lot of you guys just like to, I guess, in a sense, watch what my journey is and this whole thing. You, you guys can watch my beginning videos. Actually, don't watch my beginning videos. It, I started off with pretty much like nothing. You, you guys know, nothing. And it's been like a good two to three years now and I've grown so much. I, I don't know how else to explain it. I've grown so much and it's all thanks to you guys who watch my videos day in and day out. Whether or not I provide some type of help in terms of content and whatever comes out that's new that's something i i really like to do so uh, i really appreciate you guys so much again this video is not to boast of what all extra that i have it's just to explain that you know it, it comes with the territory of doing youtube and all of this stuff is what can potentially be acquired as you become a youtuber and you're doing this kind of content right just Looking at other YouTubers, they got big warehouses and they got tons of inventory, way more than I have. I, I got nothing here. I got nothing in comparison to other, other guys out there, just, just, just to let you guys know. And so this is just a drop in a bucket, but I just wanted to express since, you know, I'm doing this all by myself. Definitely a very fun adventure and also a very, a very rewarding one, at, in, in fact. But with that comes, I guess, essentially a lot of work a lot of stress and yeah I, I'm, I'm gonna keep continuing doing what I'm doing because ultimately I love doing all this stuff anyways guys comment down below with USA Canada or EU and just to comment about whatever that you guys saw in this video let me know your thoughts about anything all right my friends thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video have a good one and peace out oh man I have an extra AAA wave the sluice frame here Huh, what am I gonna do with this? Maybe I should do a giveaway on that. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, actually, I'm thinking of doing a, a test rig, another test rig. I actually have a whole bunch of those in my uh, garage. Man, I didn't even, ah, uh, forgot to go to my garage. We should really go to my garage. Actually, we'll do an update video in another video. I need, I need another filler video. Guys, I know it sounds, uh, my voice, I'm, st I'm still sick, just to let you guys know. All right, peace guys, peace.